Okay guys, so today we're gonna go over your 2020 Pinnacle 36 SSWS. My name's Ryan. Um, I'm gonna go over just some of the basics on the outside, uh, on the back here with you. And then when we get inside, we'll go over some other stuff too. Um, a lot of this stuff is pretty self-explanatory. If you've had a camper before, um, it all kind of matches the uh, same same uh, boat. So uh, we'll kind of go over just basically starting right here with your sewer connections. Um, everything right here um, is centralized for your gray black tank. Uh, this is a, a location for the SantaCon Turbo. If you decide you want to put one of those in, I'm not sure if this if that was an option you guys put in or not. Um, furnace outtake, okay, it does get very hot, so just be careful putting things in front of it. Most people recommend putting a screen over it um, to prevent bugs and bees from getting in there because they do like the smell of propane. Um, now, we're going to open this up. So, you're under the storage here, okay? They give you tons and tons of space under here, a little shelf to put things on to organize things nice and neatly, and then a really, really convenient wet station. So, uh, your equalizer level system is pretty easy. You just power it up just like that, um, and then literally hit auto level to auto level, all retract. We'll start bringing up the back jacks first, uh, and then bring down the front jacks to get it on your hitch. Um, you can control it all inside as well. Now we can kind of go over that after. Um, you do have a cable satellite TV outputs as well as hot and cold water. Um, your, all your winterizing, all your fresh water, you just follow the diagram. It's super easy, um, corresponding to what you're doing. So if you're at city water, you're plugged into the campground, just connect your hose here, follow the diagram and you're good to go. Black tank flush and fresh water connection. They do give you a filter for the water system. The filter is gonna be located under the bed. It's not in there yet. Uh, so you do have to put that in, just unscrew it and toss it in. Um, plus all your gray handles and your black handle for your tanks. Everything is meant to go right down that little hatch there and stick out. So in the event that you gotta uh, uh, keep everything hidden, uh, you're not leaving this wide open for bugs and animals to crawl in. All right, on this side here, you got two 40 pound tanks. All righty. They are on an automatic changeover valve, so wherever this arrow is pointed is the tank it's going to take from first. After that's empty, it will automatically kick over. The arrow is not going to flip over itself. Um, it's just going to automatically do it in the system. Um, you'll see a little indicator here. Uh, right now, you can kind of it's kind of hard to see. It's kind of red. Um, it'll switch to green when the tanks are on. Um, it's red when the tanks are empty. So it works pretty well. Um, and then these guys are just slam latch close it just nice and tight like that on the front here you do have a generator in the front as well as two batteries so you are going to get two deep cycle marine batteries on this guy and an Onan 5500 watt generator all your service can be done on that generator just by taking off the front cap there all right you'll change the oil every 50 uh, i think it's every 50 hours 55 hours they recommend changing the oil um the device that you see up top here is the manual override for your hydraulic leveling system. Now, one of the things that Jayco did um, was change to this hydraulic leveling system because it has a true manual override. So it's rated for 65,000 pounds. Should you ever lose power and need to get it up, you just pull this little sticker off here and put in an Allen wrench and bring the system up. It's pretty easy to do. Alrighty, so moving around the front here. Alrighty, so you're gonna get another 40 pound tank. This is gonna control the um, generator on the front. Okay, you just open the gas up just like this. It'll fill the generator up with propane and then you'll have another little hatch on this side here too to give you tons more storage. You are gonna get a central vac system that bleeds out into this storage as well as a five gallon water uh, purification system. And we'll talk more about that on the inside. All right. I'm gonna open this up for you. It's nice and locked. So one thing to note too, when you're emptying your tanks, always make sure your black tank is full before you pull the lever. You never wanna leave it open. Uh, if you leave it open, you're gonna run into a system of solids staying in the tank and liquids running out over it. And you, I assume obviously don't want anything to do with that. So. Just take my shoes off here because I just did clean for you. All right, so when you come in here, uh, your first thing you're going to notice is your control panel. They got rid of all the buttons. So now you get this beautiful little BM Pro system. It's very easy to use. Um, just by hitting the light button, we'll turn all the lights on and off. Okay, and there are just overrides for different lights. That's an awning light. Uh, that's your accent lights. And then you got one for in the bedroom as well. Um, this is how you can manually override your slides. So S4 
S3, S2, S1, slide one, two, three, and four. A2, A1 is your awnings, and then PA is pair. So that's how you're gonna pair your phone to this system. So if you go onto the app store, and I'm gonna just close this. If, if you go onto the app store and you download the Jayco J Command BM Pro, you'll sync your phone to this. So what'll happen is uh, you pull up your little BM Pro and this is your system here. Okay, so if you go home, you'll see your climates, your lights, your motors, tanks, energy, etc., etc. Uh, if you want to turn your propane generator on, just go to the little flashing indicating lightning strip there and you'll see generator start. Just press and hold. Give it a second. Might be kind of hard for you to hear, but the generator is powered up and now we have 30 amp service to the coach. Um, I don't have the slides open right now just because they just cleaned everything and they're going to start moving it. Um, there's really not too much to go on in there. Uh, your TV runs off a hydraulic level. So just pull up. There's a little level uh, right to the lever right to the right of the TV there. You just pull it up and it sends the TV up and then you just push it down. Tri-fold sofa, massage heated seats. Um, really, really not too much to go on there. You get a residential oven as well as a residential refrigerator. Now, one thing I want you to note See how the refrigerator, even though the slides are in, the refrigerator still opens. They do that on purpose. So now you stop at the side of the road and you guys gotta get a snack or a drink or something like that, you can. Um, and the refrigerator does run off of an inverter, which is located right there. Um, so that way when you're driving down the road, it will uh, keep it going, keep your food cold, all right? Dual whisper quiet AC systems. Okay, you can kind of, uh, I'll show you in the bedroom, you can see the returns. Um, basically what you're gonna do with this guy is uh, these little tiny thermometers here are constantly taking the temperature. You got one in here, one in the bedroom, one outside. Okay, so if, you, if it's 68 degrees in the bedroom and it's 75 degrees down here and you've got your AC set to 70, it's not gonna kick on the AC in the bedroom. It's gonna kick it on down here. So it's, again, smart controls, uh, smart controls. Uh, this is your solar power um, di uh, um, display. It's very, very easy to use. You don't really uh, need to touch it. It's very hands off. Uh, right now it's a cloudy day, um, but we're still maintaining at a 12.3, 12.4 charge. So that's good. Um, and then you have your vent fans here. So this, you really don't have to touch. It'll just maintain a trickle charge on the battery. As long as you got that generator going, you should really never have to worry about this. It's just gonna make sure your batteries are nice and full. So if the camper's off for a week and a half, you're not gonna come back to dead batteries. All right, up in the bedroom, you will get dual vanities. You know, I'll slide that open for us. So we can kind of take a look. So very easy, I just hit extend. It's gonna first bump out the slide that's in the um, bed. So this is a slide within a slide, I'm sure as you know. Um, you have the bed in the slide and then this slide comes off of it. It's very easy to use. And I can start bringing that, you'll see this wall moving. Moving in just like that. Pretty killer, isn't it? So I'm not going to open it up all the way just uh, to save some time here. Um, but when you come up here, this will be your washer dryer hook up in here. All right, tons and tons of space. Okay, obviously your walk-in shower uh, with a bench seat that folds down. You know, people love that. And then uh, porcelain toilet and dual vanities with medicine cabinet on either side for you there. All right, in the bedroom here, you've got a bench seat as well as your bed, which lifts up to give you your storage underneath. Okay, so you got two more chairs, your backup system, as well as your central vac system. And we'll talk about that in one second. Um, these guys here are pretty cool. So you've got them located all around the cabin. All right, so they just clip off the wall like that. The technical name for this is a Bluetooth wireless me mesh networking device. It's a remote. Uh, all you're gonna do is uh, tap the buttons, so bed ceiling. You'll see the bed ceiling lights go on and off. Now, if you push and hold it, it's gonna dim the lights down for you. I don't know if you can see that too well on the camera, but it'll dim the lights down and dim the lights back up again when it's time to bring it back to full strength. Um, you get one on that side of the bed, one on the wall in here, and you've got them located down in the main area, the coach. They're designed to represent the area that you're in. So if you're in bed, you're not gonna be trying to turn the lights on down there. You're gonna be trying to turn the lights on in the bedroom. So it'll control your reading lights as well as your accent lights and your bedroom lights. 
you got accent lights under there. Uh, you do have a little fireplace in the bedroom too, which everyone loves. That's 5,000 BTUs of heat right there um, on top of the already 35,000 BTU furnace, uh, 40,000 BTU furnace. You got 5,000 out there, 5,000 in here on a fireplace. So you got 50,000 BTUs of heat. You should be nice and toasty in here. Big giant wardrobe, okay? Really, really not too much. This guy is, is a beautiful, beautiful unit. Beautiful, beautiful unit. So when we come back out here, down on the ground here, you will see your central vac system, okay? So this acts as a kick, all right? When you just kick it up just like that, it'll turn it on and you just sweep right into it. If you take that guy down at the bottom there and connect your hose to it, you can bring it around, get in little nooks and crannies, things like that. Um, that way it's a lot easier for you. All right. Yeah, not too much. This is gonna be your water purificator, all right? So basically that five gallon bucket that we saw outside, it will attach to that guy there. It will also attach to your residential refrigerator. So you're always gonna have purified water, thank God. Yeah, very cool. So now if I wanna turn the generator off, I just go to the same thing where it says stop generator and I just press and hold. Generator powers down, it's super easy to go. And everything is controlled on here. So your climate for your, your furnace, your AC, all your lights, your tank sensors, your motors, your slides, your awnings, you have a tire temperature pressure monitor on here. You've got a um, uh, um, tire uh, um, temperature pressure, you have tire pressure monitoring. Um, it's, it's really, really cool, it's a cool feature. Um, this guy is, is really nice. I really suggest going home uh, with this on your first day, playing around with it as much as you can, so that way you can kind of affiliate yourself with the uh, workings of your camper. Um, couple things to go over on the back before I drop you off here. All right, it is a retractable shore cord, power cord, so it's pretty easy to use. This guy here, all you do is press the button to bring it in. It's gonna start rolling it up just like that. And then if you wanna pull it out, it just pulls out. You just pull it, pull it out. That pulls out just like that. It's really, really easy. Just make sure that if you do have it closed, then you keep it like that. So that way you don't have mice crawling up and into your, into your coach. All right, big, huge, full fiberglass back cap. Another awesome pinnacle feature. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Your stairs fold right up into the coach. They're very, very easy to use. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and close down the slides in here. So it's very easy. I just go to slide two, slide one, retract, and I can hear it already coming in. And again, so you can connect this all to your phone. So let's say you get the WineGuard uh, internet hookup as well. You call your service provider, you get the little SIM card, you put it in there, and now you've got Wi-Fi pumping through the coach. You can connect this tablet here to that Wi-Fi. So now you're mobile with it. Like I said, you download the app on your phone. You could be driving to the camps, to the campsite, an hour away, 95 degrees out, 90% humidity. That coach is gonna be sweltering. Well, not anymore. Turn on your AC on the way to the coach. You don't have to worry about it being super hot when you go inside. Um, and it'll be nice and uh, cool for you. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. Uh, you do have a 10 gallon water heater, as well as a little spray port on the outside. Again, just cold water here. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, uh, reach back out to us and uh, happy camping.